By importing external data to Excel, you establish a connection to the data source. This enables you to refresh the report whenever updates are made to the source, allowing you to apply any transformation you have made in Power Query. The connection is recorded as a file path and it is hard coded in your query. If any of these changes, your query connection breaks and you will not be able to refresh data and your report will give error. But this is not limited to just a file path. If you change the column name, your query breaks. If you change your sheet name or your table name as well, the, your query will break. So in order to make your query work, you have to do necessary changes in your query as well. To show you with an example, I have a customer report Excel in my e column. So to pull the data from this Excel, I will open a blank query. And I will go to data tab, get data from file from Excel workbook. I will just navigate from where I have to pull the data. So this is my customer report in e colon. So I will just double click it. And this is your customer report.xls. It has only one sheet. So I will click that sheet. And this is our data. I will press transform data. And Power Query has automatically assigned some applied steps over here. Let's see what these applied steps are. So click on the source tab. Here it shows some properties of the Excel file. Here you can see that Power Query has automatically written a code for you in excel.workbook under file.contents. It has hard coded your file path. Also you can view this file path by clicking on this gear icon over here. So this is your file path. Also if you see in the transformation area here you can see some metadata and properties of the file. Looking at the next applied step that is navigation. Here you can see that it has hard coded the sheet name over here. Then Power Query has promoted the headers which is not we wanted so we will delete these steps and then it has applied the change type so we will delete these two steps now we want power query to remove the first two rows so i'll go to home and uh, remove rows remove top rows type 2 and press ok the next step is to promote the headers so i'll go to home use first row as headers and that's it our data is now transformed so if power query has assigned change type as well which looks fine so I'm okay with the data. So I'll just press close and load and our data is loaded in a new workbook. So I'll save this data to my e colon. You can save anywhere as you like and I'll name this transform report. So I'll just close this file, go to my source data and customer report is my source data. So I'll just rename this file, just give a underscore between customer and report press enter. Now your source data name is changed. So let me again open our transform report enable content and when you try to refresh this data it will give an error because your report name got changed so i'll press ok go to queries and connection double click queries so here you can see we have an error so you can directly go to error and here it is pointing towards the source data and it says data source error could not find customer space report so let us click the gear icon over here and you can browse the file or if you know the new file name you can just do a changes over here and press ok and now your report is again generating a data so let us close this file do you want to keep your changes yes and we'll close this file save now again go back to your source data double click your report and now we will change the sheet name so i'll just type customer and press enter i'll save this file and close it and i will again go to my transform report double click it to open it press queries and connection try to refresh this data and again it is giving me error because we have changed the sheet name so just open this query and here you can see that it is giving me error that the sheet name didn't match so go to error it has it has pointed me to the navigation step double click it and here you can see the data source is not found so you can correct the sheet name by just pressing gear icon and you can find the sheet name over here as well so if you know the sheet name you can change it to so the sheet name was customer and your error is properly handled also i want to point out that this is case sensitive so if i give a small c over here it will again give me an error because the sheet name starts with capital c so just keep a track of this as well so now your data is generating properly press close and load to save and close in order to show you the next example now we will see what happens when we change the column name. So go to your source data that is customer report. Open this file and just replace one column name. So I'll remove customer over here. 
save it and close this file now i'll open my transform report go to data queries and connection and i'll try to refresh my query i can press this button as well and again it is giving me error the column name customer underscore address of the table wasn't found so i'll press ok go to my query now here you can see the go to error button is not there so what i do is i just click on the applied steps and see which applied step is giving me error so i found that the change type is giving me error until promoted header it was fine and you can see that the column customer header of the table wasn't found so i can just change this into a formula bar so there is no gear icon over here so we have so we know what is the error there is an error in column name which you can figure out from this error so it is better to know some m language as well and it is very straightforward so you know the error just find the customer address column and do the required changes over here so i'll just delete customer underscore and I will just click it anywhere outside the formula bar and again we are on the right track. Let's take a last example on what happens when we change the table name. So I'll just close these files, open a blank workbook, create some data over here, convert this data into a table. Let's take this data into Power Query by pressing data tab from table range. Close and load to table in existing worksheet and select where you want to put the data and press ok so as you have noticed i did these steps very fast and doing the things in hurry i just missed to set a table name so what happens if i set a table name now i just go to table underscore report now what will happen if i refresh my table it gives me error we couldn't find an excel table named table one so we'll go to the query and here you can see we couldn't find an excel table name table one. so there is no gear icon over here to do changes also if you press go to error it will take you to the source step but still there is no gear icon so there's only one option to change the table name is to change it from the formula bar so table underscore report and click anywhere outside the formula bar and now your report is generated so press close and load to and your query is now fixed so now you know how to get rid of the errors when there is a change in our input data whether it is a file path name a sheet name a column name or a table name so i'll see you in the next video